Morning, morning. It is uh, day two, full day on uh, Sky. I'm up kind of, well not too early, but I've left Asher and Claire back at the, the Croft. They're having breakfast because the sky was uh, was looking fantastic. So I quickly just threw my clothes on, jumped in the van, came out to get some photos. The only, they're saying it was a beautiful drive where I've come to. I've just come back past the old man of store so there's a lot waterfall behind me here you can probably see in the background with the sun rising rising in the, the east all you get is beautiful beautiful sky and silhouette so the actual light falling on anything to photograph is kind of limited but I knew when that sun was going to pop up that with the clear sky you've just got like a smattering of clouds that the the old man of store and that range that it's situated in is going to be just well beautifully lit so something a bit different trying to find a compo composition where it's got other elements and so i'm going to run up here get myself in place see what i can kind of figure out and get everything in with the waterfall and old man of store if that's possible and hopefully get a photo set up got a nice composition i'm just really waiting for that sun the sun to peek over the hill there and illuminate the scene that's uh I think I'll just add it, that's so much more kind of punch uh, when the sun pops up. Really watch where you're going and setting this tripod up here because it's seriously squelchy. Very, very boggy. So, fingers crossed, I think that was a success. Uh, the light didn't really do as well as I was hoping. As you can see, there's a bit of a bank of cloud going over the sun there. Uh, but anyway, nice scene. Hopefully got some uh, shots with the waterfall and old man of store. Had to do a bit of focus stacking because I was so close obviously to the waterfall. Whereas old man of store is way over there. Um, so yeah, a couple of bracketed shots for the focusing. But apart from that, pretty straightforward long exposures. Even had the Mamiya film out um, just to take some shots. Not long exposures, just, uh, yeah, just handheld stuff uh, whilst I did the time lapse on this camera so it was good so all in all just a, a success uh, looking forward to seeing the shots uh, we're gonna head back down and have some breakfast now back down to the croft where we're staying and yeah looking forward to the rest of the day doing a bit more exploring around the sky Can hear me. F11, 25 seconds. ISO 100 with six stop Lee filter and polarizer on front. So, mad dash to Rav Falls. Did a bit of scrambling over some rocks to get a, a nice composition without too much, too many branches coming into the scene. So, all in all, good. Very easy to get to. It's literally just a moment's walk from the main road into into Yugar over to Portree so it's just off the main road which is ideal uh, very dark very gloomy uh, a lot of moss a lot of kind of you know dark green with the, the waterfall in the middle so I did bracket um, and long exposure as well but uh, I want to keep it dark, so I just bracketed just to get some kind of detail in the, the surrounding areas. As you can imagine, the waterfalls are really quite bright. So to darken that down to get some kind of a control on that, everything else becomes really, really, really dark. So that's why I bracketed, just so I could pull some information out if I require. But the whole scene was very moody and dark and mossy and mystic. Uh, so I'm going to try and keep it that way. Um, yeah. But no, I'm glad I did a couple of, a couple of landscape and a couple of portrait as well. Uh, again, there was a, like my previous video, it was actually quite a nice branch coming over that naturally framed it all. Uh, so I tried to include that in one of the shots and then, you know, made sure it was out of shot for the next one just for a bit of variation to see what one I preferred when it came to editing. Anyway, back in the van, so 